Emacs is known as a text editor, but it is more a working environment, and I use it often to read and annotate PDFs. In fact, it is my principal PDF viewer, and I get this by installing PDF tools, but then in addition to that, use a package called Org Noter, which I'm going to tell you a little bit about today. So let's go back to the PDF that I'm wanting to look at. This is a uh, PDF called the Oxford Classical Dictionary, and I'm interested in this section on Epictetus. I'm busy reading through the works of Epictetus at the moment. Now, the nice thing about PDF tools is that you can annotate and highlight PDFs as you read them. So, for instance, let's say I was particularly interested in this paragraph. I could select it and highlight it. I'm not going to do that now. Alternatively, I could make a little note by right-clicking, click Add Text Annotation, and then click on this little box and I could write my note. And then if I hover my mouse over that, I get this note that I have written. And then, of course, when you save the document, the notes that you create are saved with it. This is quite helpful because you can actually write these notes using an org mode format. Of course, when you hover your mouse over them, unfortunately, you don't see the org formatting, but nonetheless. However, if you use org mode to capture your notes, you may prefer, instead of making these little notes which work on top of the PDF that you are using, you could use this program called Org Nota, which will create your notes in a separate org file. And how this works is as follows. So let's say, for instance, I wa I'm wanting to uh, make notes on the Oxford Classical Dictionary and keep all of those notes in a single org file. So we could invoke Org Nota. It will ask us a question, what name do we want the notes to have? Let's choose the second one, Oxford Classical Dictionary 1999.org. Where do you want to save it? Press Tab to see the options. Let's save it in the same location as the PDF, which would be my desktop. And then what it does is it opens your PDF and the org file in a parallel window. Right, so let's select that portion of text there and let's create a note. I've bound the note-taking function to Control-Alt-I and you'll see there that what it's done is it's basically copied the text from the PDF directly into the org file that you are utilizing. And the great thing about this, let's just go to another page now. And let's say that we were later taking notes in a different section of this PDF. Let's say in the section on Epiphany, and we wanted to make a note of that, we could invoke the same command. And you'll notice that what happens is that the notes that you take and the PDF that you're viewing synchronize. And in addition to that feature, you get an exact reference to the page that that particular quote came from. So in this case, it was page 546. And we can see it's exactly here. If you want to exit, you just click X and you're out. Oxford Classical Dictionary Modified, click Yes. Now, if you want to go back to that particular file, let's just go here to my desktop and let's open the Oxford Classical Dictionary again. And we want to get back to our notes. We reinvoke Org Nota and you'll see that we are here taken to the exact page that we were previously. And how we get that to work is we make sure that we set this variable and then it'll remember the last location that you were in. So that's a very nice way to view your PDFs and annotate them and then you can of course, if necessary, once you've worked through the PDF document, you could simply open your org notes and there you would have your information on hand. So there you have it, org nota, synchronized org mode document annotator, definitely worth checking out.